Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back office. Mm. Mystery package. I'm gonna be a bit gentle with this because it's wrapped in such a weird way that you don't know if it's got like a T-shirt in it or uh, well, whatever. And if you sort of go a bit, you know, a bit careless with this old cutter, the knife, you're gonna cut it up. And I've done that before. Not to a t-shirt, but where you've got something that's inside a cardboard box that you didn't want to cut. It's like a presentation box or something. Right, this knife's gone. Great, let's try the scalpel, which I suspect will also be pretty blunt. Ah, I'm just so abusive of knives. I'm glad I don't get, in, you know, like an employer impl pays me to do something with knives, because they're just going to go knackered. Probably ought to invest in something I can resharpen. Right. We're at the point where we can have a look. Mm. It looks like books. Well wrapped books. These look like books that you could drop out of an airplane. Books that could be landed on Mars through drone. Right, so I'm going to try to not ruin the book covers. Yes. I remember these now. I won them on eBay. Can't remember how much I paid. They weren't very expensive, but to me, priceless. Absolutely priceless treasures. Get them out. <gasps> dum, dum, dum. This is from the year I was born. Mmm, smell the nostalgia. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I was too scared to open it up. Hee hee hee, I'm giddy. I'm giddy with joy. Look at that, Judge Dread stories. Mmm, like it, it smells really retro too. I've got that retro book smell, which is like the smell of the paper and the ink. But look, colour. Dandy. The Dream Machine. I wonder if this is, uh, if Walter the Robot in here is in here, or if that was like, this is before his time. Where's the Judge Dredd? I did see a Judge Dredd in there. Mm, here we go. Look at that. Not full colour Judge Dredd though. Barely, barely any sort of colour. But uh, we'll have to squint and sort of have a look at that. But look. Oh, I can't, I can't. If I, if I handle this too much, it's going to fall apart. So here's a 1990s one. That's a little bit newer, isn't it? A lot newer. Um, so what's going there though? That looks a bit suspicious. Someone said, that's a pound. I think I paid... They sort of, I don't know if that would have been alright for a pound, wouldn't it? I don't think I paid a pound for it. I think I paid a bit too much more. Um, but look at that. That's nice. That's got the um, Judge Anderson here comic. Hmm. I like. Not really, uh, you know, I didn't really did read much of the Judge Anderson, but we've got a local Oxfam bookshop, and they had, like, the whole set of it. And I was really tempted to buy it, but then I was like, nah. I'm more of a dread type guy. I'd, I'd rather, if I'm going to buy the whole sort of canon... Uh, I'd have to start with Dread, wouldn't I, and then work my way up to uh, Anderson and all the other sort of spin-offs. And then we have the... Ooh! <coughs> pardon me! <coughs> Frog in my throat! Going back in time again. Not in... Look, here we've got a chronological order here. 1985. So again, look, that's really nice. The slain. And look at the look at the colour. It's, it's really good colour there on those pages. Those, those colour plates. But then, you know, you get to black and white again. A few pages in. Mmm, look at that. That's cool. Very cool stuff. Can you name all these comics every time you're seeing this? I hope you're like uh, recognizing all these guys. I'm just looking for the Mekon. I want the Mekon. I don't find him. There you go. Jed Dread though. With a bit of color. Nice color dread in there. And you can buy. I was in the um, Forbidden Planet in London. And I think I want to visit to YouTube or something. And they had. Um, all of these and you get all of the Judge Dredd things, uh, Judge Dredd case files I believe they're called. And I, I was really looking to invest. Every now and then you can find on eBay someone selling an entire collection. You go, wow, that's like 50 of them. But then there's always more. You can never buy them all. So it's, uh, I'm not sure I want to get into that because I don't want to get locked into the whole collecting thing. I'd rather just like say, there you go. There's money. Give me the whole lot. I'd like to build my library. And I used to do the same when I would read. Um, authors I like, you know, normally sci-fi authors, but let's say I like a, you know, Ian M. Banks book or something, or Dan Simmons, I'd buy all their books. I'd read one, go, yep, I like this, and just buy them all. 
and then I'll have on my shelf in the library I say in the library on a bookshelf in the living room and I'll just work my way through them and that was it I didn't have to worry about new releases or paperback hardback I got them all the same big collection off I go and that's how it's got to work with dread we've got here look the 1983 one so this is the eldest before you get to the uh, 1978 one I've got and uh, look it's it's in really good nick actually this doesn't have just smelling it if you smell closely you get that same sort of smell but not nearly as much so it's just this has probably been kept in a hermetically sealed environment unlike the 1978 one I don't think it was 1978 technology is particularly smelly I like how they've actually tried to keep the dreads though in color I think people obviously have a bit of a you know he's a bit of a got, got a big fan base and they want to uh, you know preserve that and they go yeah I want dreading color but this storyline doesn't look particularly exciting to me something about monkeys mm. but then if you look at the uh, judge dread case files and you flick through the covers i mean these are really long running storylines that just go on and on and on and on and on so to, to capture them in the uh, annuals you know it was really unlikely so there we go that's it was an unboxing but just a quick look through while i was at it so there's my ooh, my now my now my collection of 2000 ad that's my official collection that's all i own of 2000 ad and that's five annuals um i don't intend to start collecting them but i'm going to put them on my shelf of collecting um if you've got any uh, 2000 ad annuals you don't uh, you're not interested in and uh, you want to let them go cheap or free um, please uh, ping me and I'll be interested uh, potentially have a look at those hope there's some interest to you please comment down below if you're a 2080 or Judge Dredd fan and as ever thank you for watching thank you for watching see you later